Hello guys. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we'll have an introduction to Automation Studio software. That's a circuit design, simulation, and project documentation software, for fluid power systems and electrical projects, conceived by Famic Technologies Inc. That's mainly used by engineers, trainers, and service and maintenance personnel. In this video, we'll use its library to create a simple industrial circuit. Also, we'll learn how to write a simple PLC program, and see its simulation result, inside the industrial circuit. Let's take a look at the final project. As you see, the final circuit includes two parts. Control circuit, and power circuit. These push buttons are connected to the PLC input terminals. I will use them to turn on a three-phase motor inside the power circuit. This is a simple project, but I will use it to learn Automation Studio software. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content we have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI, and microcontroller-based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright. Let's launch Automation Studio software. As you see, I'm using its professional edition, version 6. First, I need to create a new project. Here are some templates that can be selected for the new project. Let's select none template, to create a simple project, without any special settings. For example, each template has a special page size. I can right click, select document properties, and change its size. OK, let me click on the undo icon, to restore the previous page size. As you see, here is the library explorer. It contains all the component symbols for hydraulics, pneumatics, electrical controls, and etc. Here are two standards for electrical control symbols. JIC and IEC. Europeans love the IEC standard for some reason, but JIC is the accepted standard in the US. Let's use the JIC standard. Electrical equipment is categorized. Let's select the power supply category. I need a 24 volt DC and a three phase power supply, respectively for my control and power circuits. To zoom in or out, I press and hold the control key and scroll the wheel on my mouse. Let me rotate the inserted neutral or ground, whose voltage is zero. To insert the three phase power supply, I can double click on the 24 volt power supply, and then, from this window, insert a three phase power supply. Now, inside the output components category, I can find and insert a coil, and a three phase motor. Let me write coil in the alias field, for the inserted coil. Now, I press the control plus H key, to rotate the inserted coil 90 degree. Ok, here is a single phase motor, but I need a three phase motor. So, I double click here to find and insert the three phase motor from this window. Similarly, let's fill its alias field. I've written TPM. All right, inside the switches category, we can find and insert components like push buttons and toggle switches. As you know, these components have two types. Normally open, and normally close. For example this a normally open switch. I can double click and select another type, to insert a normally close, Note that, inside the last category, HMI and control panel, 
we can find push buttons too. Let me use it to have a better simulation. Well, I will use the inserted push button to start the three phase motor, so, I filled the alias field with the start word. Now, let me modify its size, position, and color. Ok, to change the black color to green, let me double click on the inserted push button. As you see, its properties window has appeared, and its data is categorized into some fields. Here, I can select the desired color. Now, let me copy the start push button, and change its color. The second push button will be used to stop the three phase motor. Now, let me insert a yellow blinking light, to display the motor is on or off. Let's continue. I need to add a start and stop push button to my control circuit. Instead of using the switches category, let's go to the contacts category and use this type of push button. Note that, components inside the contacts category, operate based on another component. As you see here is a question symbol, and also inside its properties window. It means I must connect the inserted component to another. Here I can search and find all used components. Let me connect the inserted component to the start push button. Now, this push button is connected to the start push button. So, its state can be changed by the green push button. Similarly, let's insert a normally close push button, and connect it to the red or stop push button. Now, let me sort inserted components. As you can see, the electrical components are easily wired by the mouse. Alright, to complete the control circuit, I need an auxiliary contact, which is activated by the inserted coil. Note that, I must connect inserted contacts to this coil. Now, each time the coil is activated, this contact changes its state from open to closed. Well, three more of this contact are required for the power circuit. Let's press Ctrl plus C, and then Ctrl plus P. The second contact is created exactly on the first contact. As you see, if I move the new contact, its wiring will be moved too. But I don't need it. So, I press the Shift key and then move the second contact, without its wiring. Well, let's have two more contacts. Now, let's sort inserted contacts, and do their wiring.
All right, as you see here is a question symbol. So, I must connect the yellow light to another device. Let me connect it to the three phase motor which its name is TPM. So, if the three phase motor is turned on, the yellow light will start blinking. All right, the circuit is complete now. Note that, from here, you can add shapes, images, or text. Now, let's copy the first text, to write power circuit. OK, inside the next tab, view tab, we can change our project and document properties. Enable or disable some tools such as grid, and ruler. The next tab is simulation. Here we can use these icons to test our circuits. Let's start simulation. Well, let me close this window. It only displays some messages. The first point during simulation is line voltages. As you see, each voltage has a specific color. Now, let me explain the difference between this switch and these auxiliary push buttons. As you see, the switch state can be changed by double clicking. But that's not true for next push buttons. Because, we've connected auxiliary contacts to the start and stop push buttons. So, to change their state, I must use the red and green push buttons. Now, let me press the start push button. As you see, the coil is powered and then its contacts are closed. So, after I release the start push button, the coil is powering using this contact, and also the three phase motor remains on. If you remember, the yellow light has been connected to the three phase motor to display its state. Now, let's do this project using a PLC. I will need the power circuit and these components for the new control circuit. Let me just sort them. Now, I'm going to use previous components to design a new control circuit using a PLC, to turn on the three phase motor. First, let's go to the PLC cards category and insert PLC input output cards. As you know, each PLC needs a program. Here are three categories to find and write the PLC program in latter language. The first category is appropriate for Allen Bradley PLCs. The third one is suitable for Siemens PLCs. And inside the second category, ladder instructions are available based on the IEC standard. N Note that, we have prepared and uploaded great educational videos, to learn and program Allen Bradley and Siemens PLCs, on the PLC Goods YouTube channel. Let me select the first category, and insert a rung. Inside the rung, I can use other instructions. First, let me wire the input-output cards. Note that the type of inserted cards is relay. To learn other card types, you can use our videos on our YouTube channel. All right, let's go to the ladder instructions category for Allen Bradley PLCs. As you see, ladder instructions are categorized into contacts, coils, timers, counters and etc. Let me add three normally open contacts, and one output energize instruction. Now, let me make connections as the PLC program. Note that, 
this simple program is similar to the previous control circuit, and also it was explained several times, during our educational videos related to TIA Portal software, and Alan Bradley PLCs. Again, here are four question symbols. I must connect them to appropriate input-output addresses. Now, let's test the new control circuit. As you can see, the second input is activated because of the normally close push button. Now, let me press the start push button. After that, the PLC program will turn on the fifth output, which is connected to the coil. In consequence, three contacts pass the electrical power to the three phase motor. Let me test it again. Alright, I hope this simple project helps you to work with Automation Studio software, and also test your PLC program's logic. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.